Open a browser of your choice and search for Google Earth Pro. Select Google Earth Pro for desktop and download it. Go ahead and execute the installation. You can minimize Google Earth for now. Close the installer and go to outeractive.com. On the website, open the root planner. Here you can either import your track file or create one by yourself. For demonstration, I'll create one. When you're done, export it as a KML file, but in order to do so, you might need to create an account. Now we create the path for our camera to follow. Change the routing of the track by right-clicking and select Segment without routing. Now you can adjust the path by dragging the track into the desired shape. Try making it as smooth as possible because tight corners might look bad in the final video. Extend the camera path on either end so you can still cut away unnecessary footage afterwards. Again, export it as a KML file and rename it to camera. You can now close your browser. Open Google Earth Pro and import both KML files via drag and drop. Make sure both tracks look as expected. Now open the KML camera file in your Windows Explorer with WordPad. Select the Replace tool and change 707.0 to roughly 5000.0. This is the value for the height of your camera. By replacing 35.0 to 70.0, you adjust the tilt angle of the camera. When done, save the file and import it into Google Earth Pro again. Agree to replace the old camera file and disable the camera track geometry and the outer active logo. Select the camera within Google Earth Pro and make sure the height and tilt are ok. Rename the camera so you can find it again later. You can also adjust the visuals of the track if you want to do so.
If you haven't already, close the camera in the lower left corner of the map, otherwise the next step won't work. Go to Tools and select the Movie Maker. Choose the right camera, that's why I renamed it earlier, and adjust the video settings to your needs. I personally would recommend 2 to 10 frames per second, because we'll have to speed it up later anyways, so we save some time rendering, which might take a while. You can close Google Earth Pro and open a video editing software of your choice. Speed up the footage to about 2500%, depending on how fast you want it to be. That's what the final result should look like. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel.